Now we're going to straighten the bumper. We'll start by smushing this down, then we'll flip it over and hit along here and flatten that down. And if this hammer is not big enough, this is a two and a half pound, then this one will probably work. This is a sledgehammer with the handle cut, handle broke off, cut it off, and made a very short handle sledge. So we'll take a wood block and hit it about like that to knock these down. We'll try against the concrete. needs to be flipped over the other way. One hit right there.
straighten that a little bit. Straighten this out here. Just got to get this kink out. See if I had. If I could get it positioned perfect. Prop it up. And put a board with a 4x4 going from here. It's about over here. From like that bolt hole to that bolt hole. And then put a 2x4 on top and hit it along here in the crease to drop it down. But it makes it difficult because you can't really stand it up like that. So I put the trailer hitch in. We're impossible to get to, so I loosen this filler panel and slid it back. I can't get it out with the bumper on, but slid it back and put short extension and a wiggle joint on my ratchet, and it's working slowly, but it is working. Let's see if I can get a view from the bottom. So we get the top ones tightened up, put the filler panel back in, the bottom ones aren't too difficult to get to, but the wiggle joint and longer extension and should be able to get them. Trailer hitch is installed, bumper's back on, and man, that thing is low. I was hoping since it was a hidden hitch, normally on a hidden hitch, this part is up under the bumper. There's just no room on here, but oh, I'm gonna drag this thing on a lot of stuff off roading. But I guess it's it's about the same level as a gas tank, so I guess it's better than dragging the gas tank, even though the gas tank does have a skid plate. Oh well, I need a trailer hitch. <laughs>